1991, Somalia sinks into a civil war of unprecedented violence that will cause the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people. MSF begins a massive operation that lasts for more than 20 years, setting up clinics and displacement camps, opening nutrition centres, launching vaccination campaigns and supporting several hospitals. Now, in August 2013, Médecins Sans Frontières is closing all of its programmes in the country. This decision comes after a long series of threats, kidnappings, violent attacks on staff and murders. In 2011, when the famine was announced, MSF deployed substantial resources to assist the Somali population. At the end of 2011, two colleagues who were in Mogadishu to provide assistance to this population were shot in cold blood. Shortly before that, in October 2011, two other colleagues who were in a refugee camp were abducted and held in Somali territory for 21 months. From 1997 until 2012, we lost 16 staff members. Nevertheless, MSF stayed in Somalia, negotiating tirelessly with various Somali authorities, armed groups or civilian leaders to ensure respect for its humanitarian work. But these same groups have sometimes tolerated and even participated in the attacks, killings and kidnappings of humanitarian workers, which now make MSF's work there impossible. Les besoins important. The significant needs led us to accept unprecedented risks and substantial compromises to provide assistance to the Somali people. We were forbidden to work in certain parts of the country, even though the population was without access to care. The security situation forced us to use armed escorts for staff movements, although this was not part of our normal practice. MSF can only intervene if its presence is accepted by all parties and only if these parties commit themselves to respect the safety of patients and humanitarian workers. Today, these parties no longer offer this guarantee and the Somali people are being deprived of the care they so desperately need. As a country that has experienced 22 years of war, the needs in Somalia are great. There are no public services available to the population. There is no state hospital that is able to provide medical care to the people. In 2012, MSF teams provided medical care for more than 41,000 patients, treated more than 30,000 malnourished children, vaccinated nearly 60,000 people and helped to deliver more than 7,000 infants. Today, MSF continues to work in Somali refugee camps in Ethiopia and Kenya. One day, if conditions allow it, MSF may return to Somalia.